How's it going? Ramtide here, and I hope you're having a good day. For this video, I wanted to go ahead and showcase how to utilize a soundboard with your microphone for in-game purposes, chat purposes, or whatever purpose you may have. So with that being said, let's hop right into it. First up, you'll wanna go and download, then install Voice Meter Banana. Now you'll see that there's Voice Meter here and then there's Banana. Personally, I use Banana as it has more features, which allows for more functionality. You just have to scroll down the page until you find the download link and then go ahead and install that. Next up, what you may want to do is go down to the sound here and right click and then go to playback devices once you have voice meter installed because it may reset your default playback device. So that's something that you want to be sure to select back because we won't be using voice meter as the default. Next up, you'll want to find, download, and then install a soundboard. Personally, I use the EXP soundboard as it's fairly straightforward and easy to use. However, it does lack some features and functionality. You could find one that's a little better, but this is one that I found that actually works pretty well and it's pretty simple. Now that I remember there actually isn't a need to install anything with this, you're downloading the XE file. So you just have to download it and place it wherever you want. Personally, I have mine just put right on the desktop. Next up, when you're ready to go, open up the two programs and you'll wanna select your microphone in uh, voice meter banana as one of these hardware inputs all you have to do is select the drop down and then find your microphone and select it for me however i have my microphone being ran through a third party software and then coming into voice meter on the aux input so for me my mine's going to be here but yours will be on one of these inputs over here now what i'm going to do is set up the soundboard for this channel here which is pretty easy you just go into the first output here and find this one. For mine, it says speakers, but in parentheses, it says voice meter VAIO, which corresponds to this output here. So that's the one that you want to select. What this will do will make sure that any audio that is being played from the soundboard will go into this input. Now, granted, it does have a mic injector option on the soundboard, but I've had issues with it to where I couldn't actually balance out the audio as well as I wanted to because initially it was coming in at a super low volume for some reason. So what this will allow us to do is use voice meter banana to use the fader gain to increase or decrease the volume as need be for the sounds. Another thing to remember is that you will need voice meter running along with the soundboard in order for these things to work. They won't just work as soon as you start up the computer. Now, another thing to note is that you won't be able to actually hear the sounds played from the soundboard the way things are set up right now. You can set this up in one of two ways. One is to click here and select use and then select your headset or speakers that you're utilizing. Granted, I've had some issues utilizing the second output here. So instead, I just have it ran all through voice meter. In order to do this, all you need to do is select one of these outputs and select the speakers or headset that you're using. For me, I have the A3 selected for my speakers. From here, you just need to make sure that the output that you want to go to your headset is selected here. So since this is a soundboard and I want it to go to my headset, I also have the A3 here highlighted just to make sure that it comes through. Now, before we get into setting up the sounds for the soundboard, you'll wanna go back into your Windows sound settings, the recording devices this time, and select which recording device you wanna use and set it as default. This will not end up being your headset anymore. It'll end up being one of these two. Personally, I have it set to the aux as the default simply because that's where my microphone is going. Now, what you'll want to know is that these two options here, B1 corresponds to the output of this channel and B2 corresponds to the output of this channel. So as you can see, I have the default device selected as voice meter aux output, which is these two. So for the soundboard, you'll want to make sure that B2 is selected. If it is not selected, that means that the audio coming through here will not go to the output device which means that nobody else will be able to hear the audio from the soundboard. Next up, what we can do is set up the sounds now. What I suggest is having your sounds all in one folder so they're easily found, so you can set them up quickly. All you need to do is go to add and then select and select the sound that you would like to use. From here, you can see hotkeys, just left click on it and then select the combination of keys that you would like to use for this sound. I do recommend using alt or control plus another key 
in order to utilize these sounds. Otherwise, if you're in the middle of playing and you have it selected as, say, the R key, anytime you hit R, it'll play that sound. So I have it set up as control left and then we're done. And here's the sound. Once that's done, the sound is ready to go. But what I do suggest as well with this soundboard is making sure to save this file. Because once you have everything set up, all the sound set up that you want, if you don't save and you close, it'll get rid of all of that information that you had. So you will need to save the file. Otherwise, next time you open it up, it won't have any of the sounds on there, nor the hotkeys that you had selected for them. Next up, what I suggest is actually balancing out your microphone with the soundboard itself, which is pretty straightforward in doing. You can do it all right in here. And as you can see, this is the B2 output here. So by looking at this, my voice is peaking out around negative four, but for the most part, it hovers around negative 10 plus or minus four or five. So what you'll wanna do is play the audio and then see where it peaks out and try to have that peak somewhere in that area of where your voice is, probably on the lower side as opposed to the higher side. So as you can see here, it peaked out negative 21. So I could go ahead and increase the volume here some, and that'll help out a little bit to make sure that people can hear it. Another thing that you can do is go into the chat program with your friends and play these sounds for them. Uh, just to get their input on it and whether or not you should increase or decrease the volume. From here, you're pretty much good to go. However, you may want to go into your uh, chat settings and make sure that the input device is correctly selected. It should work on default or the aux output like I have selected here. Another thing to note is that in some games, it does give you multiple options for the input device. Some games don't, it just goes to the default. But either way, the default should work pretty much no matter what. And if you're wondering how to go about getting some of these sounds to use in a soundboard, it's pretty easily done. I do have a video on that that I did a couple of weeks ago. So you can check that out if you wanna know. And it's pretty straightforward. And the way that I showcased it, it's also free. Another thing is that voice meter is free, but it's donation wear. So if you do enjoy this and it's working out pretty well for you, at least consider going and donating a few dollars to their cause as it can help them out when it comes to adding more features or other programs. Anyway, with that being said, if you have any questions or issues, feel free to comment down below and I'll be sure to get to those as quickly as possible. I appreciate you for watching. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. Ram tied out.